welcome to another video. It is currently Tuesday the 16th of June and just about to go for the 35 minute recovery run. Today I've got the, the dogs with me. So I've got three dogs. We've got Ozzy, Ringo and Paisley. There they are. So I'm going to be trying to run with them today for 35 minutes, which should be interesting. So worked out this morning, did a bit of chest and core to start the day off. Um, literally did a few exercises, did some flat bench, incline bench, um, some floor press, and then a few core exercises. Um, and like I said, now we're out for the run. So with these runs now, I'm trying to keep my heart rate um, in zone two as much as possible, just because it is meant to be a recovery run. And I don't really want to be, if I can help it, pushing into the, the higher zones. Yeah, we'll get into the run now. One thing about these woods is that deers often appear and these three are very quick to find them. So, whoa, gotta stay alert with them. Come on, Pace, come on. So far, so good. So, haven't really talked much about Sunday's long run yet. This Sunday, just gone, did a 16K long run and it was the joint longest run I've done so far. Week before, Ozzy, come on, wait, whoa. Come on. Ozzy, Paisley, come on. Wait, Paisley, let's go, Ringo. Come on. Sunday, long run, last Sunday, so what am I about? A week ago I did a 16K long run, and it was the longest run I've done so far this prep. I'm pretty sure I'll put the splits up again as usual. I'm sure it was like a five, 550 kilometer pace I averaged for 16k and honestly it was really difficult I was struggling I think a few of the kilometers were six minutes but that was the longest run I'd done so far and then this Sunday just gone we did 16k again and this time averaged a five 535 average kilometer pace so massive difference felt so much better in the run itself um, went out a lot quicker than I wanted to so I ran with uh, Maddie and Joss and Maddie set the pace and because her Garmin wasn't working properly she went out a lot faster than we were meant to so some of the kilometers like a 520 kilometer pace yeah I felt honestly it felt so good I took a gel one of the science and sport gels at about kilometer 10 just because my calf was a little sore and I wanted to see what they were like and that last 3k felt amazing like I could talk comfortably wait wait could talk comfortably while running at like a 520 kilometer, 517 kilometer pace. So something I'm not really used to, but it's just interesting to see obviously that from one week to another, how some runs you feel great, some runs you feel absolutely knackered. Like the week before, I was really, really in a lot of, lot of pain. And then a week later, same run, it was, we did it in the other opposite direction. So it was a bit more downhill, but, and yeah, that is an update on Sunday's run. This isn't going according to plan. Paisley. Paisley. So this isn't quite going to, according to plan. <laughs> We're currently at a 7.45 pace because Paisley <laughs> keeps wandering off. I think we might have to cut the run short because I don't think Paisley, bless her, can keep up. Whoa, she's having a zoom. Paisley, she's having a zoom. Paisley, oh my goodness. Come on, calm down, whoa, calm down. <laughs> she just had a full on zoom, I think she's good to go. You okay? Come on, oh. Keep going, we'll do one more lap, come on. Yeah, they're pretty, they're pretty tired right now, so we'll complete this lap, maybe 15 minutes, but complete this lap, do 20 minutes, and then 
I might go for a run again later. So we've currently completed 17 minutes of the recovery run. The 35 that needs to be done. Dogs are pretty tired, so I'm gonna jog back with them now and then I'll go for, I'll finish the rest later. Um, I still gotta do a cycle this afternoon, so I might turn it into a little bit of a brick workout and do the cycles for an hour and then I've pro I'll probably have something to get back now, about 10 or 15 minutes left to complete of this run. So I'll just do that after the cycling workout. When their feet So I've just completed a 55 minute indoor bike ride. Um, and now just about to go and complete the uh, extra 15 minutes that I need to do as part of the 35 minute recovery run that I was doing earlier but got cut short with the dog so um, just about to get the last 15 minutes in now it's currently half past nine so um, quick 15 minutes here and then get to bed and uh, do it all again tomorrow And, ooh, and that is the run complete. I'm not sure if you can see me to be honest because it's quite dark, but um, 15 minutes. So 15 minutes in the bag for today, plus the 20 minutes earlier. So that is today's session. Um, look at my watch, I've burned nearly 4,000 calories today, which is kind of where I'm at roughly every day at the moment. So the weight is kind of dropping relatively quickly. I'm sitting at 93. No, 94.3 kilos at the moment, which is one of the lightest weigh-ins I've had so far. I mean, I'm looking to be around 90, 90 kilos or just below for the uh, the races in, in in about three months' time now. So that's where I'm looking to be at. You're throwing yourself at it. Yeah, but like, I can't even touch. That's as far as I can go. I'm really, this is a, this is going to go so wrong. Finish your legs up. Kick up. Okay. <laughs> So it's currently Wednesday afternoon and as I said last night I was expecting a couple of packages today. One was meant to be some supplements which unfortunately did not arrive and the second was a new pair of running shoes. So for myself personally I've never really done much research into running shoes because I've never done any running competitions. The most I've ever done is 5k in a sprint triathlon. Since now preparing for this Spartan Ultra race and Half Ironman I decided to do a bit of research and kind of understand a bit more about the shoes that you should be wearing. So for myself at the moment I'm just training in a standard pair of night running shoes which I've had for quite a long time now. Um, and although I've had no injuries at this stage, from the research I've done and knowing my body myself, they're probably not the best shoes to be running in, um, especially as the mileage starts to increase. I do have um, flat feet, so I tend to overpronate quite a bit. So from the research I've been doing online, I came across a brand called Hoke Oneone. I think that's how you pronounce it. Um, and they've got a pretty good reputation for running shoes. And specifically, for with this shoe, the Ara Arahi 4 is meant to be really good for stability, especially if you have flat feet. So, as you can probably see, it's quite a, a chunky shoe. Now, it's probably something I should have done some more research at the start um, with the running shoes to kind of identify what I should be running in, especially now as my mileage is getting above 16k on long runs and for the week it's getting above 40 kilometers so it's something that you probably shouldn't overlook really. And although, like I said, I haven't had any injuries yet, the last thing to do is pick up an injury at this point in training. So although I haven't actually used these yet, um, everything I've read online seems to point in the direction that they're a pretty good shoe for covering some serious miles in a week, um, especially if you do have flat feet. 
They are very lightweight, number one, which is great. I'd say they're probably the same weight, if not lighter, as my current Nike shoes. And although it is quite lightweight, it does have a lot of cushioning. Um, I mean, they don't really bend much at this stage. Obviously, I'll probably have to wear them in a little bit. But compared to my other shoe, that would probably usually just bend completely. So there's a lot of stability in there, a lot of cushioning. So I'll probably do another kind of review on these next month after wearing them a few times. Plan is to just kind of build up some mileage the next few days in them. I might wear them on Sunday's long run. It's meant to be 20k this week, so we'll see if I break them in for that. But yeah, I mean, I'm intrigued to just see how they go, really, more than anything. For me personally, growing up, I've always just kind of used Nike and Adidas brands um, for running shoes because, again, I've never covered serious mileage. I'm intrigued to see how this kind of shoe feels and um, how it holds up in the long runs. So that is today's sessions complete. Um, Wednesday tends to be quite a relaxed day really. Um, did a bit, of, a bit of everything really in the morning, weights wise, did a bit of legs, a um, little bit of upper body, and then this afternoon did the indoor bike workout, which was about 45 minute bike ride. And that's about it for today's video. So um, yeah, if you've got this far, thanks for watching. Um, if you could subscribe, that'd be amazing. I'm trying to grow the channel a little bit, so any support is amazing. And yeah, if you could like the video, that'd be quality as well. So thanks.